All right, good morning, everybody. It's Mr. Brown, and I'm going to show you how to kind of use um, Photopea, even when it doesn't work really great, to still get this assignment of coloring a black and white photo done. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come up to our file. We're going to go to open, and we're going to open our image. Here we have the black and white image that you guys should be able to download from bit.ly.34 slash 3 j bit.ly slash 34 jgj, our classroom website, or Google Classroom, it's on both. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit add, <clears throat> and this is an old black and white army photo. Um, and what we're gonna do, normally what you would do is um, you would use your selection tool, uh, and you would just like in the, in the Photoshop video that I posted, um, from the, you would just do these quick selections, no problem, everything gets done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It doesn't really work really well on Photopea. When you try to go in and select, you get these, these weird, it, it selects everything, and then you hold down the Alt or Option button to try to take things out, and it, it just kind of, and now everything's gone. So you've got this kind of weird problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a non-destructive edit, and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, kind of do this and use masks and do it manually and it still work out okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the little half circle. It's a circle that's halfway colored in. We're going to click it and we're going to come up and we are going to add a uh, color fill. That's what I was looking for. I lost it. We're going to add a color fill layer. So I'm going to click that and what that gives us is immediately a color fill and then also a mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and click my color fill and I'm gonna click uh, my color and I'm gonna change it to a light blue. Um, something maybe like this, maybe a little bit more, that'll probably be okay, kinda of like a sky blue. And just hit the, hit the okay down, uh-oh, well, I messed that up, I have to do that again. Um, we're gonna go back, kinda of get the sky blue, then we're gonna hit okay. And this is our fill. And what we want to be able to do is to color and mask out <clears throat> the, the guy. We want him gone so that all we have is the background. So in order to do that, we need to be able to see the guy. So I'm going to change the opacity down just a little bit. And now we're going to paint on the mask. So please pay very close attention. I need to click on my mask right here. And you should see this little selector box move to the mask. I'm going to make sure my color is selected to black right down here and black is my color, and I'm gonna go to my paintbrush. And with my paintbrush selected, I've actually already changed my hardness just a little bit, and I made the size a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna paint over my guy, just as much as I can. And what we're doing is making sure that this color doesn't cover him up. Now, this is what's called a non-destructive edit, and so I can go back and just change my color to white and just paint right back on it. And well, I said that, but then it didn't change the color to white because I forgot to hit okay, hit okay. And now you can just see that it just paints right back, but I'm gonna go back to black and keep painting because we're gonna get this done. So <clears throat> here we go, we're making this all disappear. Um, so if you're doing this in Photopea, it is a little bit of a pain because it doesn't work exactly right, but you still get really good results. And what you're gonna discover is that um, even when you're doing it in Photoshop and the, the selection tools work a lot better, um, you're still gonna end up doing this by hand quite a bit. And of course, I'm not doing the best job, but we're, we're getting close. So what I would normally do is, um, when I got done with all this, I would come back in. I'm gonna shrink my brush size so I can get his ear. I shrunk it too much. <laughs> Make it a little bit bigger, maybe 15 pixels. Um, so what I would do is I would come back in, change to the color white, and I would just very carefully go back. I forgot to hit OK again. Y'all, I know this Photopea is such a pain, <laughs> especially if you're used to using Photoshop. It's just really difficult. Um, I'm not doing the best job on this, but you can see I'm just kind of painting it back blue getting that all in there as best I can. I'm gonna switch it back to black and just kinda paint this. Okay, so now that we're done, I'm gonna turn the opacity back up to 
And uh, that's okay, it's not terrible. And we're gonna change the blend mode, the blend mode. And we have a lot of different blend modes that are here. We're gonna change it to overlay. <clears throat> and it kind of gives you this kind of cool background. Now we're gonna create another one of these. Um, we're gonna create another color fill. So I'm gonna hit this half circle again. I'm gonna go color fill. And I'm gonna change my color to a dark green because we're gonna do the uniform. And it needs to actually be a darker green. Probably close to this color, maybe. This is getting where we need to be. And I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna decrease the opacity. Um, and now what I need to do is I just need for it to select his uniform. So I actually want to turn this entire thing black. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna go ahead and just with my black selected, I'm just gonna, this is an easy way to do it. You can also do like a bucket fill, but just in case, I'm just gonna, just gonna do this and just color the whole thing black. So there we go. <clears throat> And now what I'm gonna to do to get rid of this is I'm gonna change my color back to white. And I'm going to come back. Oh, I forgot to hit okay. I keep hitting the X. Change my color to white, hit okay. And now what I'm gonna do, shrink my brush. And I'm going to paint everything that isn't I mean, everything that is his uniform back. And I'm gonna turn the opacity back up so you can kind of see where we are. So you don't want skin, you just want the uniform. So I'm gonna come around, we're gonna get all this very carefully. And you can see I've kind of messed up a little bit already. And <clears throat> you're probably thinking, this looks awful. <laughs> and it does. That's okay, we're gonna clean it up. And so, I'm gonna shrink my brush so I can get in some of these smaller spaces, like the collar. I shrunk it way too much, two pixels is too small. And we're gonna try to get right here. Um, there's some spots where we messed up, so you can change the color back to black and just kind of color those back. And when we're, gonna, when we're done, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Of course, you'd wanna color his hat also, but for the sake of time, we're just gonna come back, we're gonna change it to overlay again. And we're getting there. <clears throat> now, to finish this up, I'm not gonna show you how to do every little part of it, but you get the idea, I hope, I, for, to do like the next part, which you may do his skin, you're gonna create another layer, color fill, um, you're gonna change it to something that is a skin color. Um, something you know in the in the orange range and maybe somewhere right in there I might go up and you you may have to play around with the skin color and the cool thing about using these adjustment layers is that um, it really does allow you the ability to make changes without much without much worry so I'm, I'm going to do the same thing I did before to color the whole thing black um, well, I said that, but I'm actually not painting. Make sure you make sure you select your mask layer first. That's super important. I'm gonna come back and change my color to white. Hit OK. Shrink my brush size, and now I'm just going to paint his face very quickly. And I can already tell you this is this is more of a mustard than an orange or a skin color. Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger for the sake of time. Now, you want to leave out things like the eyes, of course, um, and you wanna get super detailed as much as possible. Just want to color the skin. Um, so anything that is skin, that's what needs to get colored. Everything else can be left off. Shrunk my brush too small. And so. And of course, I did mess up over here, so I need to change it back to black. 
I kind of clean this up a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over here and change the click where it says normal. We're going to change our blending mode to overlay. <clears throat> and I, I need to change this color. It looks awful. But it kind of gives you the idea of what we're going for. And you should be able to... Um, that still needs a little bit of work. But what you need to do is go through and work on doing each element. The tie, the shirt... His eye color needs to be set. The hat should be the same color as the jacket, except this part is actually black and this part is actually brown. So um, you can even color these metals uh, a silvery color or a gold color. But <clears throat> when you're finished, just submit it on Google Classroom. Do the best you can. I know this isn't you know the best, the best of the best, but it should help get you where you need to be. If you have any questions, of course, you can always email me at william.brown at terrellisd.org, and I will get back to you um, hopefully within a, a few hours. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. Hope you all have a great day, and good luck colorizing these black and white photos. Thanks.